Imagine a world where humanoid robots move just like us with synthetic muscles, realistic joints, and an eerily lifelike body. Sounds like something from science fiction, right? Well, meet Protoclone, the world's first musculoskeletal android. This six-foot faceless machine is unlike anything we've seen before. Developed by Polish startup Clone Robotics, Protoclone has artificial bones, tendons, and muscles, designed to mimic the natural human gait. But is it the future of robotics, or the start of something terrifying? Unlike traditional robots that rely on motors and rigid structures, Protoclone is powered by over 1,000 artificial muscle fibers, just like a human. It also has 500 sensors, allowing it to process and respond to its surroundings in real time. A powerful 500-watt water pump acts like a human heart, circulating fluid to keep the system running, quieter and more efficient than traditional pneumatic robots. And with over 200 degrees of movement, it's one of the most flexible humanoids ever built. But here's the catch. So far, Protoclone has only been seen hanging from strings, flailing its limbs like a marionette. Unlike Tesla's Optimus or Boston Dynamics Atlas, it hasn't demonstrated its ability to walk yet, and that has left many wondering, is this the future of robotics or just another overhyped prototype? The viral clip posted by Clone Robotics has sparked a mix of fascination and fear, some call it awesome, while others say it looks straight out of a dystopian nightmare. One user even joked, can you just draw a smiley face on the head please? Others however are more concerned about its human-like physique. With its athletic build, powerful muscles and silent operation, could a future version of Protoclone be too strong to control? Clone Robotics envisions a future where humanoid androids like Protoclone assist in daily life, cooking, cleaning and performing complex tasks in homes and offices. But with growing fears around AI and automation, many wonder if we're heading towards a world where machines don't just help us, but replace us. So what do you think? Are synthetic humans the next evolution in robotics, or are we building the very thing we should fear? Let us know in the comments, like, share and subscribe for more mind-blowing tech and robotics updates.